The win was just necessary at this point. It was needed and there was nothing else that could have maybe put us back on track other than three points today. And I'm not going to say, well done boys, you did such a good job. Well done playing well, playing progressive football. No, I'm going to say it was the necessity. It was the minimum. Three points today is what we needed under any circumstance. So I guess you did the job that was necessary, but... um. Three losses on the bounce is just not up to par. Against Liverpool, maybe. Maybe I see it. We tried. We didn't really try that hard, but we tried. Against Brighton, though, guys, it was just shocking. It was shoddy. It wasn't good enough. And against Chelsea, it was bland, boring, nothing burger. It was a nothing burger game for us. It seemed like we were not playing for anything. And after they scored the penalty, it was just the same as it was before they scored the penalty. It was almost like we were just trying to not concede too many goals as opposed to do anything else on the pitch. And yes, Kane wasn't playing and he did play today. He came back and did a job for us because he is indeed, along with Son, our two best players. Those are the two, the two talisman of the team. But... Uh, I don't know where this season's gonna go. Hey, Narendra the comic here. Right now, we're just gonna be reviewing the Spurs versus West Brom game today. You know, there's not much else to say. I said it all there. I will say, though, that the team played well. They actually played well. They played in a positive way. It wasn't so defensive all the time. There were a couple of counterattacks, especially with the second goal. But it was a much improved performance compared to what we've been playing like over the past three weeks or so. And I know it's bad to think in retrospect, like, oh, if they'd only done this, if they'd only done this, it's a bad way to look at life. But like, boys, you should have been playing like this against Brighton. If we'd played like this against Brighton, we would have won the game. No questions asked. It just would have happened. Today, we played in a particular way. And it got us to three points. So I think maybe Mourinho needs to get out of his head here saying, defend, defend, defend. And maybe be like, oh, let's just make sure we have a good defensive lineup. Let's make sure that we have two holding midfielders that can do the job. And then let the others just go and attack. It's crazy that that's the other side of football, you know, defending and attacking. It needs to be done in tandem. Otherwise, you know, you're going to get outscored if you're too offensive. You're going to get absolutely slaughtered also if you're too offensive. So... I think maybe, maybe, just maybe, Mourinho might have had the turning point here to say the defensive shit isn't working out here. Maybe he doesn't have the personnel. Kane and Son should just go and do what they were doing at the start of the season, which was super, super high press, super, super heavy on the counter-attack, and also, at times, playing progressive football. That's what we were doing at the start of the season. It kind of devolved into just not playing with a high press, purely going counter-attack with no progressive football, and it kind of made us seem like a bloody a meteor just stuck in the middle of the pitch like nothing's going on. But today, there were bits, there were moments where I was, I was thinking to myself, am I watching the same team? Hjordberg picking out passes that he shouldn't pick out. Hjordberg might actually slightly be a number 10 out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, we're saying he's defensive mid, playing as a bloody centre-pack like 30% of the match. Just pinging down balls, seeing through the lines, and Kane's finishing off one of the chances which he had. He had a handful. Spurs actually had a lot of chances today, and probably had half a dozen very good chances, most of them going to Kane, but Son had two or three as well, and... Uh, you know, Kane comes back, scores the goal, scores his goal, which means he's the second highest goal scorer of all time for Spurs. And I'm saying he's probably going to get the number one in all likelihood. And then Son comes along, does his job, gets his customary goal. He hasn't been on the score sheet recently. And I do feel it's affected his confidence slightly. I think he's still been playing okay. He's kind of been in and out of games more so than before. But he's had chances. He's had a handful. He hit the post, I think, three times in the last four or five games. And they just weren't going in for him. But today, maybe this might be the thing that gets them back on track. Kane's back from his injury. Son's playing better, I guess. He was more involved in build-up play. Lucas played very, very well. Doing a, doing a job for the team that I think maybe Mourinho needs. Maybe Mora needs to be in the team instead of Bergwijn. I must say it, Lamella didn't play terribly. He didn't play well, in my opinion, but he didn't play terribly, which is a big step up from where he normally does. So that's a big compliment from me for Lamella, all right? He didn't do anything that stupid as far as I saw. I was, again, just intermittently watching the game. Like, there were other things I was doing. So don't quote me on that Lamella line, all right? Don't do it. My attention was swaying. I was in and out of the game. So I might be wrong on that, but he did seem to play a pretty good game. I think Mora stood out today. 
more than anyone, along with Hjolberg. And Dembele had a good game, not his best, but he has been such an improved player that, I mean, the guy is just a, a firecracker. He's a fire star, and I love seeing him play. And I think Hjolberg, him, Son, and Kane, there's something there. There's something there. And while this might not be the season we win the league, I'm not saying that's so far off. That's so far off now. There are three cups available for us. Who knows? Three cups is a lot. We're still in all three of the cups. I know it's the Europa League, not the Champions League, but nonetheless, guys, if we can win one, if we can win two, heck, if we win all three, I mean, Mourinho's a club legend. It doesn't matter where we finish in the table. We could finish eighth, but if he wins three cups and win the Champions League through the Europa League winning, I, I mean, he's a club, he's a club legend in a second. That's just... That's just fact. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what else happens. But um, the table is not looking that good, to be fair. We've dropped a lot of points. We haven't been playing very well. And the truth is, a couple of bad results, a couple of more bad results, and we could be in the bottom half very, very quickly. So City next, I believe, not going to be an easy one. But we beat them earlier in the season, so anything is possible. But the way they're playing now, I just don't know. Anyway, guys... If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Kane himself is going to come after you. You don't want that. No, coming back from injuries like he's Hercules, you really don't want that. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra the Comic. You have been Graham. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. You've been doing it every day for over two years now. And we ain't stopping till we get 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Pop back again tomorrow for some more quality, shitty content. Because the hashtag never not hit. Here, just how it goes. Also, we bring the bakwas, and bakwas means nonsense in Punjabi, and we also bring that. Yeah, damn, 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 damn. It's a lot of shit, a lot of trash, but we love doing it. So, see you tomorrow. More of the same, but slightly different, but essentially the very same. Once more, see you tomorrow. Skadoosh.